we have Jeff in here with us. He's one of my runners um, that I treat off and on. Uh, does quite a few marathons. We've worked with his hip and his knee. Today he's coming in for some knee pain on the left side. Uh, he's been to an orthopedic and some physical therapy for it. Um, he also had a surgery about two, two years, years ago. And what was it? What was it for? It was a plica and a meniscal tear. Okay. Meniscus. And just recently you had a shot on the knee about three weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks ago. Two weeks a cortisone shot. Okay, had a cortisone shot and it doesn't hurt now. It does. Mostly when I run. It hurts when I run. Um, and right after I finish running is extreme pain. Okay. So kind of the end of how many miles would you say? Um, so I did five miles like last night. And um, it's slightly painful during, but right after it's like hard to walk. Okay. Almost like it's stiff. And can you point to where you're getting that um, pain? Yeah, so it hurts mostly like on the inside of the patella. Um, a lot of it's down here and up in here. And also when you're doing like those lateral movements, we're just going through those, that that's painful too. So This will work. Okay. You're right. Okay, what we're going to be doing now is this gentleman's got a knee uh, disorder that is accelerated and exacerbated by uh, running. Uh, he complains of uh, stiffness and soreness on lateral movements in the, in the uh, left knee and also extreme pain uh, after at least a five mile run. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to put in at least 12,000 joules into the knee in here and then I'm going to have him move around and access it comparing it how it was from just when he just sat down. Then I'm gonna put in some more, and we're gonna do it again, and there should be an improvement if I've hit the right area. That's what I'm assessing, okay? All you will feel when I move this red light over this area is a whiff of warm air. And it's putting in the photons, it's going into wavelength depth into your tissue or reflected away by the bone in the knee, and it's starting those cells to heal and uh, get healthy. If you didn't run again, you wouldn't need it. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Here we go, we're gonna start. You feel heat immediately? And you, as you're doing this, you wanna keep making different patterns and that's really critical. I see some places where I go in, they, this is way too powerful for something like that. You're reheating and heating that, that tissues so where it gets real hot very fast. If that does happen, the darker the skin, the hotter the buildup on the surface. Tattoos have a propensity to heat up faster. So what you would do is turn it down a little bit or you can move it faster and that heat goes away. What you want to do is when you're starting to treat them, you have it over the area that you're going to treat before you depress the treat button. And that way nobody in the room gets treated too. The most sensitive area of the laser is this fiber. And that must be protected at all times so that you don't stand on it, roll over it with the wheel, because no matter what the laser or what the power, that, that's a problem area if it gets damaged. Because the heat buildup in it will make it stop working and then your runner here will not get better. And I still, touch and feel the area that I'm treating to make sure that I'm not getting it too hot. You'll learn very quickly that different areas of the body, just like the other patient we treated, he felt it really a lot on the back but didn't on the front shoulder until it got some blood circulating in it. It's normal. I've got a patient at my office in St. Louis and I've been treating him now for about a year and a half and he came to me because he had severe pain sitting and playing golf in the, in the golf swing and he had a lot of arthritis in the tailbone and verifiable by his last MRI we reduced the amount of arthritis in that area by 20 percent. Pain and range of motion is, is fantastic and I don't think I could make him stop coming. Sometimes when I get over to uh, a school that I work with the day before a game and I've got 20 people to treat it takes me four hours with a smaller laser and I can do it with this one here in 45 minutes. Okay, now get up and move it and see how that feels. Sorry. That's good.
I start flowing a little bit more. Okay. Um, but no, it's, it's now patient like this half, like that is getting it done should feel better in two to three hours. 